I have been working with light for many years now, and I have an obsession with light. How light forms a space, how space forms light. What does it mean to have access to light? As a child, I grew up in Iceland, where there's no sunlight in the winter. It simply stays dark all day. And of course, light became the source of pulling people together. And it would be this moment where we say, oh, there's a light, let's go there and let's go and share some time with other people. In this way, light for me became a way of connecting to other people. Light is social, light is life. It was, a, it was two years ago and I was sitting with my friend Frederik, who's a solar engineer. And uh, I guess we were talking about something else altogether, but slowly the light outside would fade. And we suddenly discussed in darkness. And him being a solar engineer and me being obsessed with light, we realized why couldn't we take the sun that had just passed away and prolong it into our conversation in the evening. And this is actually how it started, somehow playing around. And as we worked our way into this, we realized that the feelings involved actually made a big difference. We realized that almost a quarter of the population of the world do not have access to energy and light. And tossing our ideas around, we suddenly, we suddenly saw that this is not just about you know, charging and making light, it's about having rights to light. So what started with a I wouldn't say a play, but started with this obsession of solving a problem, very soon became something which was much more real, but also much more emotional. And this is why we started talking about how to shape it so that it somehow carries the feelings as well. It was very clear to us it was not going to be a functional object alone. This is not about function only, it's also about life. And as you can see here, a solar panel, a container, light on the other side. I charge it. Four hours of charging gives you five hours of light. This has a thousand charges, which gives you three years of light. Most people who don't have energy, they rely on kerosene for lightning. Kerosene, of course, is unhealthy. It's expensive. Actually, Unhealthy meaning, if you sit and do your homework next to a single wick kerosene lantern, it's the equivalent of smoking 40 cigarettes. So it's not just unhealthy, it's like unbelievably unhealthy. This one is 10 times cheaper than kerosene. It has 10 times more light, which gives you 100 times better performance. It's for cooking, it's for eating, for reading, it's for learning, and it's also for earning. Earning means that, of course, one success criteria is how this object looks and performs and what it is and so on. But of course, the distribution of this is also a part of it. And if you make a few bucks on selling it, there's something there which I would consider a work of art as well the microeconomic infrastructure that needs to take this to the end user is a part of the little sun vision. I mean, it's nice to make a great object, but the real success lays in the people who get it at the end of the day. This is about changing the way we change things. It's a work of art that works in life.